and it's not something that really affects you unless it's bad. A uh, hemp IKEA. Hey, it's Adam Deport, customer service expert, author, and speaker, and we are here to ask, does personalization matter to retail customers? Now, my good colleagues over at Springboard Retail just sent me some research they did, and this is uh, on the apparel industry. It's now spring of 2017, in case you're watching this video later. And the research was very interesting because they addressed the idea of personalization. And there's a lot of talk about personalization now, right? It's very important. Tons of blog posts, tons of videos, all kinds of content about how important it is, how we're moving to personalization. Now, what was interesting, and this was just for the apparel retail, but I think there's some lessons here for everybody in retail, is personalization might not be as important as we think it is. So here's what they found at Springboard. The research, the first thing they found out was that number one, people wanted the right item in stock when they were there, which makes sense. So if you go to a store, you wanna get the right item. You want to get what you were looking for. You don't want the hassle of going there and it not being there. Number two was actually a tie. It was friendly employees and a quick and easy checkout. Now we talk a lot about being hassle free, being easy to do business with, being effortless, and we know that's a really big trigger for people nowadays because people rush, people are stressed. So you want your you know, retail experience or any kind of customer experience to be easy. But what was interesting was that ranked ahead of personalization. That and of course friendly employees which can make or break any customer experience. Now the third one was actually knowledgeable employees. And this is one of our seven service triggers that we teach which is being faced with incompetence. Knowledgeable employees are key, especially when you're trying to compete with online, because we're talking about retail right now, and you're trying to compete with a world in which all the information is there, in which the computer is often more knowledgeable than the employees. So having knowledgeable employees is crucial. So now we're down to four different items, three rankings, and number four is actually personalization. So it came in behind four other metrics. Now, it was important. It actually did rank number four, and it was, you know, a surprise a little bit to me because there's been so much talk about it but when you start looking at what the other vectors are and you say is that more important than personalization is that more important than personalization you start to see how maybe personalization isn't one of the top concerns and while it's important and of course context is always important if you want it depends on what you're doing depends on what type of industry you're in what type of product you're selling but for general retail sales it came in far beyond ease convenience good customer service friendly and knowledgeable employees and fifth by the way just to let you know was store layout and design so that actually came in last even though it's really important it's something you just feel and it's not something that really affects you unless it's bad a uh, hemp ikea so what did we learn here is personalization important for retail it is important but it may not be as important as you think it is and remember to always focus on having the product in stock making sure your employees are knowledgeable and friendly and of course, making sure your checkout and your whole experience is easy and effortless. And after that, personalize as much as you can because it does still matter. Well, this is Adam DePork, and you can find out more about me at customersatstick.com, and I'll see you next time.